happy Scottish coo there. What a cool beast. It's getting annoyed by all the fleas fleeing about. Alright folks, welcome to this exciting video. You once again join us here in this vast Scottish mountainscape here on this incredible rocky terrain because we've come back to explore. This is a similar area we were at when we were at the mystical cave a few videos ago and we've pretty much just come back to explore the rocks and see what we can see and honestly there's some crazy things we've noticed already like this precarious rock up here which we're away here look at but today it's a bit different because I've got the chest cam so I'm going to strap you on the chest cam and you'll see the full like clamber up here see how I really got on we out me having to hold the camera so yeah let's get into it folks Look at this folks, the way this rock's balanced here, it's almost, looks like it's been placed there. This is crazy folks, this stone literally looks like it's been built here by someone. The way it's balancing, it's just precarious on top of there. And then look, down here, the whole stone is balancing on that one tiny little corner there. Like if that stone down there shifts this whole lot will go and that's what shapes all this hilltop what a view down the valley there like it's incredible it's totally epic That cave we were at a few videos ago is over here, so we're going to go to it and see if we can see any out, outside features today that we missed the last time. It's going to be interesting to see it from another perspective. What are you saying? Oh, you're there. I thought you were up there. <laughs> Look at the wee Honda in there, it looks like it's so small for up here. The camera wasn't square. These rocks here almost feel like they could move. That's the thing, every footstep we'll have to just not start an avalanche. Some of these rocks here, this has been like one of the main rock falls here I would say, from the top of that mountain. Do you think there's a cave up there? This is amazing, all these massive chunks of rock. The size of those spiders, I'll go and try and get this one on video. It's 
caught, so I don't know if you can see it hanging there. I'm not even going too near it, it's not in a good place. Folks, this is the top of the, where the cave is that we were in a few videos ago. It's right below my feet now. Look at that weird marks on the stone there. It's almost like a footprint or a fingerprint from a dinosaur or something. Obviously, that's not what it is, folks. But yeah, right below my hair, like there's an entrance to the cave down there below that stone. You wouldn't even know it from up here. This is all down on top of the cave. It's those massive stones that is obviously like over the cave. It's cool to see it from a whole new perspective on this video. But yeah, that's where we climbed up and in. Try and get around this other way to the cave entrance. Yo, there's Channel DJ folks coming up here. <laughs> I was waiting to try and get a different approach. Here a wood wasp just flew overhead there. And it was crazy the noise it was making. When you're up there, you can't even tell there's a massive cave below your feet. It's starting to get warm now. This is crazy folks, we've come back really soon after the first visit But if you want to see what this cave looks like inside Go and look back a few videos ago, we were here on an adventure there, There's the entrance but Yeah, today's video we're out here Exploring things like that cool balancing stone that we saw a minute ago Finding anything that's interesting and never seen before and we're avoiding the adders. Look at that, it's just like massive rocks. Some of that is bedrock, I think. Because when you go down to the deepest bit of the cave, you're under the ground yeah. and there's water damage above your head. So it is interesting. Okay, and it's been a cave for a long, long time. And the fact that ste the steps in it shows you people have been there, yeah. chilling. What a spot up here, like this is just like incredible. 
this vast landscape all around it. It's just mind blowing. And all the rocks here, it's like it's limitless to the amount of like things you might see around here. This is all just falling off this cliff face at one time. It's crazy. It's crazy to imagine all these rocks rolling down this hill. This is crazy folks, we found this massive flat rock here, we're just chilling. Oh look, here's a vintage land rover going down the glen. It's just like the one that we went all the way to Isla and all the way to Jura and it's cool to see them still out here hurling about. But yeah, the landscape around here with the, the massive like mountains and stuff over here. It's just incredible. Probably doesn't it come out on the camera, the actual vastness of this landscape around here. The actual amount of rocks takes like tons and tons of them. Each one of them would just crush you in an instant. Crazy. Right folks, we're now heading around. the sun interesting down here? Well, it might not be interesting, but the sun down here, which is not a rock, looks like a man-made item, but we can't see what it is. So we're going to head on down and here a look. I don't know what that is doing there. It looks like something metal. This is a cool little spot here, like. Is this an old chair or something off an old car? Looks like most of the stuff's rotted away for it, apart from the metal. Is that an old computer seat or something? Aye, it's a computer seat. <laughs> Somebody's probably been chilling here camping. On a day like today, you can see why. Mental. It's quite a nice spot up here though, I must say. It's one of my favourite glens. There's just so much to see. Like the size of these stones and everything. Every time we've come up, there's people rock climbing. That's a pretty extreme route those ends are going up. Wow. And some of these rocks won't have been stood on for hundreds of years, if ever. So it could just take like one footstep for the whole lot just to start flying.
This is it folks, we've pretty much made it down at the bottom of this hill. Woo! Yes folks, look at this. We've made it to the bottom. We've climbed up this rock. Right folks, that's been a crazy climb about on this wild, rugged, rocky hill. And we've seen some cool little bits and bobs here. It's been something a bit different with the chest cam and that, so. Anyway, I'll end it here. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video very soon.